In a previous video, I told you what multi-shot is, and I told you that multi-shot can run either synced to the PID loop or unsynced, where its frequency is fixed and independent of the PID loop. I also told you that when multi-shot runs in synced mode, it's subject to jitter because the PID loop doesn't run at exactly the same timing every time. It varies. And so in synced mode, you won't have exactly the same frequency of motor updates as the PID loop is slightly longer and slightly shorter each time it runs. Whereas in unsynced mode, there is no jitter because the signal is generated by an independent PWM generator that is not tied to the PID loop. Some people claim that the jitter that is the result of a synced motor output shows up, uh, you can, they say you can hear it, the motors sound rough. And some people say that unsynced PWM actually results in smoother sounding motors. And some people even say that there may be an effect of, of updating the ESC more often than the PID loop, and that's a question for another day. But the, here's the question that we're going to answer today. Does unsynced output make the motors sound smoother? That's the question we're going to answer today, because that's a claim I've heard again and again, and we're going to explore it. All right, so here we are using multi-shot. We're at 32 kilohertz, which is the max that Betaflight supports anyway. And we're at 8K and 8K. This doesn't matter though, because we're we're we're, de we're unsynced. We're using unsynced motor output, so the PWM frequency is going to be completely separate from the PID loop. Uh, okay, so we'll go to the motors tab, and I'm going to spin motor number one. And I'm actually going to throttle it up slowly so that you can see how it starts to move as I throttle. It starts very smoothly. I'm not going to go all the way to max. Let's just stop around 1300, shall we? And there's 1500. Okay, so that was 32 kilohertz synced. Now we're going to go to configuration and we're going to change. Let's not screw around. Let's change to 8 kilohertz unsynced. So now we're running at 8 kilohertz, but we are not syncing the output to the PID loop. Let's see if we can hear any difference. So there won't be any jitter. In flight, this would probably make more difference than it will on the bench. We're going to find out. And this time I'll leave it on 8 kilohertz, but instead we're going to, now we're going to sync to the motor output, or to the PID loop. We're going to sync the motor output to the PID loop, which means that any jitter that there is in the PID loop will also appear in the motor output. And we'll see if we can notice a difference.
Okay. Now, just for good measure, yeah, let's unplug that. Just for good measure, let's go do. Oh, let's go do a one kilohertz update, and uh, we'll leave it synced again. Synced one kilohertz. <laughs> 